Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, well I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it. But he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than Ladies five years apart. With big differences in height, man. but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC! Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Basilia Distrito Federal, Brazil, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit better. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Nice punch there by Lee. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, single collar tie now. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, wow! Head kick! Big 
punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just over two minutes, round one. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy, he keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, let's get to round two. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Some nice back and forth action here. Missed with that attempt. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Went for the inside leg kick. Big head kick lands. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller player. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Another knee finds the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh my goodness! Oh! Big head kick there! Knee to the body! Checks the leg kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, it's been a kick heavy approach. 
approach so far, but it has worked out for him, DC. Another nice combination, largely of kicks. Kick, 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 kick. Until you stop it, he's gonna continue to blast those shins into every part of your body. Nice leg kick land. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up? A beautiful strike like that knee with. We'll see very shortly. Just unable to quite find that range. Just look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Oh! He's drunk. He's hurt That back. one appeared to stun him. Gets up again here, but hurt him. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just like that, the fight is over. He got him. What a performance. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But... Don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called to stop this contest at 2 minutes, 32 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin. Well, he's smiling ear to ear and why not? after a knockout like that. I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of a knockout like this. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.